So guys, guess what we're doing today? It's seed dropping time. Seed dropping time. Seed, 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 seed dropping time. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait. Let's get into the video. Before we do, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you're starting a garden. Let me know if you're dropping some seeds. Let me know what you're doing to extend your prepper food pantry. Things are getting tough out here. Y'all see I'm using my ring light, right? You can do it too if you have a ring light. And I have grow lights as well. Let's get into the video. Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. I hope you are having a great Super Bowl Sunday so far. So today we are in my sunroom that I am about to turn into my growing room. Uh, it is cloudy. You might be able to tell from behind me and it is cold yesterday it was it got up to 66 degrees here and let me tell you it felt good it felt good and i probably should have did this yesterday outside but we had to go to the main homestead and take care of some stuff there so let's get into the video y'all we are about to drop some seeds but before we do i got to fix up my soil so i'm gonna bring the camera down low so you can see what i'm doing no i'm not sifting my soil i know you've probably seen many videos of people sifting their soil i didn't sift my soil last year and everything was fine if there are any big pieces in the soil I will, however, take those things out and I will be mixing the Jiffy Mix along with, that bag's heavy, I'm gonna show you. Let me just show you. Okay, so what I have right here is some potting mix and this is by Stay Green and it has fertilizer mixed in it. It is for your container garden. Let's see if I so I'm hoping that you can see, this is what the soil is looking like. It's nice, light, and loose. It does have some big pieces in it, but nothing that's gonna hinder what I'm about to do. This is a potting mix also. It's organic, it's by Jiffy as well. And it's really kind of like, let me show you. This is what it's looking like right here. And it also has uh, peat moss, perlite, compost in it. So everything that I need for uh, moisture, root aeration, and nutrients. So all I'm doing is putting this into the bin. And y'all, look what I'm using. I can't find my trowel, my shovel, my little shovel, nothing. Um, so I went in the little she shed I have in the back and it had some kitty toys in it that the previous owner left. And guess what? We're using it today. And like I said, if there are any big pieces, I'll just take those big pieces out. So I just added this bag right here of the Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. And it also has the peat moss for nutrient balance, the coconut core for drainage, vermiculite for moisture retention. I have not been able to find single bags of, of uh, vermiculite since last year. I ran out last year. I had a huge bag because I was mixing my own soil after my plants were out in the garden. And that is the best and cheapest way to do it. I still have this soil right here. I still have this much left in this bag. So I saved myself a lot. So as you can see, this is my seed, the Jiffy Seed Starting Mix right here. I'm just going to break up the clumps that how it came out of the bag. And then we're going to mix it with everything else. So 
So this is your soil. You got your, the white that you see in there is that perlite. You got the vermiculite, which is that lighter color that you see to it. Okay, for this next step, I put holes in all of my cups that I will be using. All I did was take my scissors, or you can use a knife. It's best if you press, put the cup on the table and do it though. That way you don't cut yourself. But that's all I'm doing is adding a nice little hole to the cup. Okay, so you see my little setup right here. I just have a regular lamp that has a grow bulb on the inside of it clamped onto the pole. These are one of the shelves that I took from my prepper pantry um, when my husband started building the permanent ones. Okay, so up top, this is what the inside looks like. I only have that one drainage hole, but I'm going to go back on the side and do this right here. Here's another set. And you're probably like, what are the spoons for? I'll tell you in one second. So with these, I clipped on the side there, on the side here, and that'll have drainage for the bottom. But I will also, because it was so hard for these type of cups, these are my recycled cups from last year. Um, it's hard to get a hole in the bottom. I got a hole in the bottom of this one, but it was starting to bend the other cups. So I'll do the same thing for the sides on the red cups, just for added drainage. Now for the spoons, for the spoons, I'm using these as my labels. You know how you go out and you buy those labels and stuff? Well, I got this pack of party spoons from the Dollar Tree, 48 in a pack. I got that and decided I would do it mine like this because this is how I saw my mother-in-law doing hers and they lasted even outside. So you put the date on this side, on the inside, or however you want to do it. Then on the opposite side, you write what it is that's in that container. So I'm recycling some of my Bonnie plants right here. These are recycled from last year as well. Let's go over the lights. Oh, and I also have these down here. This tray right here as well. So, like I already told you about this lamp with the grow light in it. Also have the grow light here that I got. I will put the link in the description box from um, where I got this particular grow light from. Viva Sun grow light. Over here, I have this heat lamp that I have a grow bulb in right here. And then when I have these sitting on top right here, well, these will be underneath, but I'm gonna have some more um, cups eventually sitting on top. What I'm gonna do is use my ring light. That's what I used last year. And let me tell you when some people say, I don't know if you can use that. Use what you can use, okay? I already have this available. I'm not buying another grow light or anything like that. Somebody wanna send me one, that's fine. But this worked just fine. This goes up like this. It is adjustable. I had it over my stands just like that. So I got this tarp down to try to save my carpet from getting destroyed. So now I'm about to put the soil into the cups and we're gonna speed through that process and then we're gonna get to the planting part. We will be doing these cucumber, lemon cucumber, the Big Daddy Hybrid. This is your best friend, the Sharpie, as a prepper, as a gardener. Uh, some Swiss shorts, four for a dollar. At the Dollar Tree, I believe I got these from. Cabbage, 
cucumber. I have to get me some um, Boston pickling cucumbers as well. These large red cherry tomatoes, carrots, collards, spinach. Then we have broccoli here and some red cabbage right there. And I probably will buy some starts as well. I bought starts last year also. It is no shame in my game. Get your food how you can get your food because it costs even more in the grocery stores and look worse. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday Fell in love with you right there and then I was young, couldn't see that So now what I'm going to do is wet down the soil before I add my seeds. And I just use a regular bottle, room temperature or warm water. And I just take it and simply squirt it in there and it will drain. Sometimes after you add the water to your soil, you find out you have to add just a little bit more soil back to it because it does seep down. So that's what I had to do. I added a little bit more soil to some of the cuts and now I'm just wetting the soil down. And this little sprayer, pressure sprayer right here, I got it from Dollar General for $5. The first one we're going to start with is cucumber lemon, lemon cucumber. I've never tasted these. I looked for them all last year, couldn't find them, found them. So I said, I'm getting them. I'm not waiting. The reason I'm doing five cups of the lemon cucumber and I'm doing, well, the reason I'm doing them in the red cups is so that if I do them in these smaller ones like this, I will have to transfer them sooner than I want to. And then I'm having surgery on March 4th on my foot and I will be down for a number of weeks. I'd rather have them in here. That way all my husband or my youngest child have to do is come out when it's time for them to turn the grow lights on because I can use the light, the natural light but I'm also going to use my grow lights as well. I'm going to do two seeds for each one. That will give me 10 plants if they all succeed. And if they don't, it'll still give me a lot as opposed to me just doing one seed in each cup and then maybe something happens and they don't grow like I need them to. This is what they look like. And all I'm going to do is the same spoon hole on that side hole on that side and just drop it in we dropping seeds y'all first seed drop 2022 and just cover it up don't compact it at all repeat steps for all of them
one of these is going to have three seeds in it. We're going to make it this one. I had an extra seed in my hand. And that's basically all you have to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and plant the following seeds. We are going to do our cabbage. Cabbage is very tiny. If you can make oop, that out. I'm just going to move some of the soil back and just sprinkle a few seeds in the soil. we put our labels in next we are going to do our straight eight cucumbers and again we're only doing five cups we're going to try to do two seeds per cup Whole hole like I did in that one. But it's one on one, one on each side of where my fingers were, like that. And these seeds look just like the other seeds. That's why you need to label. Our labels it helps to pre-label and I'm trying to stay in order last time last season I did not do that I labeled too many straight eights oh well last on the list will be the hot pepper hot lemon these look so good this is what they look like very, very tiny. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you my setup with my grow light I can adjust the height level of the one that's on the left I can adjust the height level on that one and I can adjust the height on that one so as you can see I will be using my ring light I can have it here I can move these up top I can adjust the lighting down bright or not because today is a cloudy day i'm gonna leave it up high 
if I need a little extra light over here instead, I'll just kindly do like this and that'll cover those. I moved the top two trays from this unit over here. I kept the bottom one. I'm gonna leave that one there. I just decided I would get more bang for the buck if I put everything under this ring light and that grow light because that light from up here will shine down there as well and i'll get more light down there it's just a really cloudy day you guys so i'll probably leave this ring light on for about 10 hours today and then tomorrow and then on i'll have a set schedule of how long i will leave them on and it'll be more than 10 hours